Well, hello everybody, I'm Daryl Crow, and we're back with another exciting painting tip. Now today, I've decided... Daryl, hold on a second, hold on a second. Joe, just... I'm, uh, we got a show going yeah, on. Yeah, but I just got a call from Travis. Travis? From yeah, Travis called. Uh, yeah. Randy Travis? Not Randy Travis, close. Close, okay. And he was on our website, yeah. looking at your galleries. Which one, the Travis or the Randy? Yes. And uh, as he was looking at the pictures, he noticed these oval shapes that you do. Yeah, that's a nice... Uh... And, well, he was fascinated by this. Oh, is that right? But he had a question. A question? This may come as a surprise. Somebody had a question. But his question is, how do you paint outside the oval? Oh, okay. Can you handle it? Sure. See you later, everybody. All right. Well, you know, Joe, it's something very interesting about the timing of that question. The, uh, we just finished putting up a, um, and, and maybe that's what prompted this. He was on the website. He saw the new film. But, we, you know, we have the Lifetime Club membership, and people can uh, always get our newest film. All they have to do, once you're a Lifetime member, you just go and access it. Yeah, it's great because it's everything we ever do also. So yeah. All the new films. Well, on this particular one, we introduce a calm day. Why don't you show a picture of it right now? Okay. Now, when you look at uh, the calm day, what you see is that on the bottom side of both of the uh, sides of the oval, we've come outside of it to give it a very unique appearance. Now, the reason I do that is to gain audience uh, immediate reaction. And it's different, isn't it? Boy, it certainly looked like it worked in this respect because Travis definitely jumped on it. Well, what we're going to do, Joe, is I'd like to take a few minutes and show him a video clip from a calm day where we actually take the contact paper off and show the people how we begin to paint that scene outside. That's a heck of an idea. Okay, we'll do that. All right, let's roll the video. All right. At this point... You want to take off your contact paper, just like that. See? I'm just grabbing it at the bottom. You don't want it to flip over onto your painting. So you just grab it on the bottom, pull it off, and I'll drape one on one side. And I'm doing this so gracefully, and one on the other side. You see, we, this looks like a nice area to put a waterfall. So we'll just go ahead and cover this. Let's see, I'm just taking the blue, covering it, and I'm getting bigger as I come out. And we're just doing something different, breaking all the rules, so to speak. I like doing this on a lot of my paintings because people don't expect it, and it's cool. Who knows, it might lead to a sale or two. And that's not all that bad, is it? I have never not sold a painting because I didn't want the money. I may be liking that painting and not wanting it, but I always think it's a compliment when someone says, I'd like to buy that from you. So always treat it as one because if you've done that good of a job that they want to buy it, then you've done a good job. Okay, well, you know, that looks kind of funny out there by itself. So let's go ahead and take our brush and let's bring on the bushes. See how I do this? I'm just going way right outside and I'm just framing this. All I'm doing is framing it. And you can, it doesn't matter how you get that dark layer on. We could have used the two inch, but I like using this because it leaves all of these impressions on, which is about like saying, hey, Look, it's got bushes. It doesn't need to be highlighted. All right, so there we go. Well, I hope you've learned a lot today. We've shown you a little bit about how you can paint outside of the oval. The key note in this is that as we're putting together different types of paintings, okay, we want the viewer involved. So anything that we can do to help the viewer get involved into our painting is going to mean a lot better receptivity on what we're doing. Now, we have a couple more questions, or are we out of time, Joe? We're actually out of time for this segment, there. Okay, so we'll see you next week. I'm Daryl Crow, and yes, 
you can all have paint. 